Hello, collective. I hope everybody's doing well on this hot ass Saturday. Um, we're gonna hop right into this reading. I already pre shuffled and it got really juicy, y'all, because these two women were great friends, but they just ended up like cutting ties almost abruptly and going their separate ways. So let's see what's going on. What I keep he what I kept hearing is somebody got greedy. I don't know why I'm hearing that. But the first card that I pulled is from my um, Disney's Villain Tarot deck. And I got the page, the page of cups. It better not start getting live out here, y'all. always do. <laughs> but this represents how close their friendship was. They had a lot of emotional fulfillment in this connection. It was patient. It was kind. It was understanding. I mean, if you're on the outside and looking at these two, they probably seem like they was inseparable at one point. Um, how, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to chop and screw the names up, you know what I'm saying? How Hamanshi feels about Shanaz, I got the Queen of Cups, all right? Purple could be significant. Um, Hamanshi, she sees Shanaz as a queen. She feels like she can be very compassionate and loving the type of person to give the shirt off of her back to somebody it's funny because this card has a dark side and i'm hearing this chirping out but yeah it's like she almost seen she's seen this woman as two-faced um hamanchi like i feel like i feel like shanaz has a dark side and hamanchi witnessed it very quickly you know what i'm saying like she, there could have been a moment where they was hanging out and, you know, Haman, she said something to Shanaz and Shanaz and Shanaz just like snapped at her really quickly and it caught Haman, she off guard. She probably didn't even say anything because we've all had friends like that. That's quick to pop off like that. So, um, I feel like she thinks that, um, Shanaz is out of pocket. We, like I said, we all got that one friend, oh Lord, we all got that one friend, that ratchet friend that scream your government name out when you're in a classy or public social setting, like they just do not know how to leave the ghetto at home, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, Hamanchi can feel, Hamanchi feels like Shanaz can be very rude sometimes, you know, she can be very blunt, but... I'm hearing she doesn't have any tech. That's what I'm hearing. She doesn't have any tech. So let's see how Shanaz feels about Hamanshi. Two cards actually flew out. I got the Emperor card and then I got my the Five of Cups for how um how Shanaz feels about Hamanshi. Like this is giving off having your cake and eating it too. Like this right here is it's funny because not in a ha ha way, but this is how this is how Hamanshi sees Shanaz. This is Shanaz, right? Shanaz represents the Queen of Cups, Ursula energy. Now, when I asked the cards, how does Shanaz see Hamanshi? This right here represents Shanaz. This right here represents Shanaz. You know what I'm saying? That's arrogant to sit here and ask the cards, how do you feel about another person? And it's like, fuck them. I'm, I'm only feeling about myself. She's only feeling herself in this. She might see. I feel like Shanaz sees Hamanshi as, she sees her lower than her. Shanaz feels like she's superior, you know what I'm saying? The Emperor is a very masculine card as well, so Shanaz could become off very aggressive at times, you know? She's that person that can go from zero to a hundred real quick, you know what I'm saying? That person that make you wonder, you know, are they a little cuckoo, you know? So, um, Shanaz can probably, I feel like this is giving off instigator energy. Hamanshi might see Shanaz as an instigator as well. Um, Shanaz can come off very boastful. She's not afraid to show her anger. She's very vain, you know what I'm saying? This is giving off very selfish energy because it, it's, it's like, she sees herself as outshining Hamanshi. She doesn't even really give much thought 
she might be the type of person to where she walk by, she got to check herself in every mirror when you out. Every single mirror you walk by, whether it's through, you know, you in a parking lot and you see a glare through the car or you go in the bathroom before you check. Like, this is some. I'm just picking up this really vain energy and it's making me, uh, it's making me annoyed. She was also very intimidated by Hamanchi. Like, Hamanchi is, comes off like a very peaceful person. And some people can be intimidated by how peaceful you are. Um, when I asked about this Five of Cups energy, this Five of Cups energy that I got, I got the reverse Five of Swords, y'all. So um, I'm sorry. I'm trying not. I, I'm trying not to get distracted easily. There's so many people coming out here. But yeah, I got the, re the reverse. The reverse. Um, oh my God, y'all. My brain. I'm sorry. Just give me a moment. I don't know if it's the heat. I don't know if it's this drama that's going on. All right. Somebody shed a lot of tears over this, y'all. I'm hearing A-list celebrity versus a Z-list celebrity. Somebody had a sense of entitlement. This conversation could have, the conversation could have went something like this. Shanaz could have told Hamanshi, I was here before you. I'll be here ha after you. How dare you think we're on the same level? This card represents two people having a long-term disagreement and not ever seeing eye to eye. Like they don't, they haven't let bygones be bygones. They still beefing. You know, this energy right now, if you're looking at this reading, they still currently beefing. I feel like Hamanshi's trying to be more respectful about it and classy about it, but yeah, they still they still beefing right now. Um it's going to sound crazy, but I'm going to go ahead and say this because I was sensing this earlier when I pulled, you know, when I just pulled the Emperor card. But one of three things could be happening. A man came in between this friendship. Somebody could have caught romantic feelings for the other person, you know, or an opportunity split them apart. The opportunity split them apart. Oh, yeah. my, my thing being wacky, so I saw it. So when I asked the cards um for clarification i got the seven coins this card right here this is my be prepared blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this is my be prepared scar card my stay ready so you don't have to get ready card a long journey ahead card y'all so this is my opportunity card i feel like maybe hamanshi got an offer that shanaj felt was rightfully hers when you're in a friendship it's tested in many ways and a lot of times you'll see your fr friends succeed faster on a higher level than you and this could either make or break the friendship because the friend is going to either be the biggest cheerleader or they're going to be have that crab in a barrel mentality and i feel like that's what happened i feel like hamanchi got into some type of position that made shanaz feel intimidated make her feel like she was less than you know what i'm saying instead of being happy for your friend you're gonna be like you know that should be me it shouldn't be her that's what i'm picking up on all right um I pulled from my own deck that I that I have and I had I got the cops are involved so I I don't I don't know I'm like I'm here reality show I I don't I don't keep up with them at all like I promise y'all when it comes to these celebrities I don't be reading up on I don't be keeping up with them like that so I don't know maybe it was a restraining order um I also got clone version so this could be the reason this is another reason why Shania's is in this like hateful energy she feels like Hamanshi is trying to copy her you know what i'm saying he's like basically if Hamanshi got chosen she's like you know why did they choose her she's just trying to be like me they could have got the original you know what i'm saying this is <laughs> shanaz feels like her spot was taken if you ever seen the show bad girls y'all it's centered around women and those women like try to be alpha women with minions and stuff. Shanaz feels like she's supposed to be the alpha in this situation. She feels like Hamanchi is trying to one up her, be a copycat like her. Um, I also got 777. Um, I'm moving on to someone else. Uh, you're always on my mind. I've talked bad about you to other people. So yeah, this is um, Shanaz 
bad mouthing Kamanji, whether it was in front of her, behind her. Like, she just talked a whole lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Also got Capricorn energy, so I don't know what their birthday is. Maybe one of them is Capricorn and they have Capricorn in their chart. Um, when I asked the cards when they will they will they ever reunite? I got the reverse page of coins oh, I get this out. <laughs> this is this is my standstill card y'all. This is my procrastination card So things are gonna be at a standstill for a while um I try not to put any opinions in here, but I I this is what I sense. This is what I get a sense I get a sense that Shania's is just sitting here lashing out, you know, being a bitter bitch and all of this. And Haman, she, she's just trying to keep her com composure. Like, I don't sense any negativity coming from Haman, she, in these cards, right? And it's, we all have, we all got our light side and we all got our dark side. And I feel, like I said earlier, I feel like Hamanchi is trying to keep it classy, you know what I'm saying? She's not trying to even take it there, but I feel like she 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 might she might take it there you know what i'm saying shanaz might do something and just give that little push and it could it could i could i could see a cat fight i don't know why i could see a lot of careful hair pulling and i'm hearing a lot of meows and stuff like that but yeah this is i'm hearing this is not going to end by a long shot if it did end because right now nobody's stepping up everybody's in their ego and nobody feels the need to apologize if they apologize it would be fake as fuck though you know what i'm saying they might hug it out or something and do those make fake fake smiles it could even happen on camera or somebody could do a you you know what i get a sense somebody might actually do a short you might come across a short with them two giving it each other hug and trying to be the bigger person but you're gonna see it written all on their face same person that hug you and turn around and say bitch at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to seem authentic. You know, somebody somebody might encourage one of these two to step up for the camera. It doesn't look good for television. It doesn't look good for the media. But I don't see them rekindling. I, I, I don't see it happening. It's just too much disrespect has happened. It's it's too much disrespect. It's 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 I don't feel like it if they have if they do reunite and i don't feel like it's gonna happen it's never gonna be how it once was it's not i just feel i can just sense two women just facing the opposite direction from one another okay y'all so that's all i got from my reading um i don't know why i was holding that card so long in my hand um i'm sorry y'all i was just out of whack i haven't i haven't my sleeping pattern has been crazy i haven't really been sleeping that much so that's why i was just getting all stuttery or whatever but till next time love y'all bye